right, so when discussing the maximum flow, we're trying to find the maximum quantity of something that we can push through a network diagram at one time. So whatever we're being pushing through, so we've got water, electricity, anything, it must start at a source. And that's always going to be labeled as S, and it's going to end at the sink, and we label this T. I always like to give this to you as an example of these are the mountains, this is the dam, this is the pipes, let's say they squiggle around everywhere, I don't know if they actually do that, they probably don't, they probably look like this, and this is your house. This is your bathroom sink, and this is you washing your hands. So your water is coming from this dam up here through all these pipes to your bathroom sink. Think about that in every example we do. In the below example, we are trying to find the maximum amount of water that we can push from the source, aka the dam, to your bathroom sink. The source always has an infinite amount of water. I want you to never forget that. Infinite amount of water at the start. In order to find the maximum flow, we're going to take into account the capacity. Think of capacity as the amount that every edge can fit. Think of this as a six meter pipe or a, a six liter pipe and this is a hundred liter pipe. They're different sizes. The edge carrying S to A is a capacity of six. So we're going to work through the flows. Let's travel from S to T via A and C. The lowest capacity is four. So the most we can push through is four at any given time. We can't, we can put six through to here, but we're only going to be allowed to take through four. So even though this is nine, we can only send through four. Therefore, flow one is four. These are, this is a saturated edge as we have fulfilled its capacity. You want to note when you have room left over. So we now have five liters left over in this edge. Maybe we can use it later on. Flow two, we're going to send through seven liters here. We then send through another seven liters here. But from here, we're only allowed to use five liters going this way. So we're going to send five liters this way. We now have another leftover two liters, which we can send through here. So the maximum diagram of the maximum flow of this diagram, if we add together all the water that's making it to the end, is going to be four plus five plus two, which is going to be 11. Okay, so the maximum cut theorem or the minimum cut theorem. So that was maximum flow. The minimum cut theory is a useful way to then check your answer. It's often quicker than what we've just done. The theory basically says the maximum flow of a diagram is equal to the minimum cut that you can make that will separate the dam from your bathroom sink. Essentially, every cut has a value. How big? It's going to cost more money to cut through this than it is to cut through this. You want to do the minimum cut. You want to cut through these ones and separate the source from the sink. And that number is going to equal the maximum flow. So cuts must completely separate the source from the sink with no other way for anything to get through. So by using the minimum cut method, you end up with the same result as if you'd found the maximum flow. If the numbers don't match, then you've done something wrong. Okay, we're going to work off that same example, um, which is this one here. So we've done what we did before. Now we're going to find our cut. So this is a cut here. Six plus seven is going to equal to 13. This is a cut here. Four plus eight is going to equal to 12. This is a cut here. Nine plus two is equal to 11. That is our minimum cut. These ones, too big. We didn't need them. Therefore, we've satisfied our question, saying that is our maximum flow. All right. Another point I want to bring up before we actually talk about um, maximum flow again is how we look at minimum cuts. I want you to think of every cut as a road like this. Let's actually draw a little road on. Imagine that you have a little car. This is like the top down view. And this is the steering wheel. And this is you. Say so you with a U. And this is your passenger. Let's actually do the Y to make it not as disgraceful for a tutor to say. Um, let's pop you in the driver's seat. If you are going up a cut, 
The cut is correct if it would go through the passenger side first. If it does not go through the passenger side first, the cut does not count. So if this arrow went this way and it went through the driver's side, that cut would actually only be equal to eight. It would not be cutting off five, even though it technically looks like it's going through five. It has to cut through the passenger side door first. So let's do this maximum flow question. We have three we send through here. Um, we then send through three here and three here. We end up with three at the end. We then send through um, eight down the bottom. We can only send through six on the next one and we send through the six through the next bit. So we've sent through a full six there and we've got two left over. We can send through that bottom edge, which we sent through there. Therefore, our maximum flow is 11. Our minimum cut is going to be going this way. And if we were to go up, see how both of those would go through passenger side first as well. Okay, beautiful. This is a practice question here. We have two practice questions and then we are done. So we are finishing quite early. So I will talk to you for a bit at the end about some of the things that I mentioned before. Start popping some questions in the chat when you are finished with the practice questions and I'll answer those in the chat. Whereas for now, I will give you my tips and tricks over obviously the lecture instead of being able to talk to you. So we're going to calculate the capacity of the cut shown in the diagram and calculate the maximum flow between source and sink. Let's start by calculating the cut. Let's follow our cut from the bottom. Passenger side, passenger side, driver side, passenger side. To find the capacity of this cut, we need to add seven, five, and 11 together. The eight does not count. Seven plus five plus 11 is going to give us, let me double check. 23. So the capacity of our diagram should be 23 at the end. Now let's work out our maximum flow. Let's switch colors because you have to kind of annotate when you do this. All right, we've got a source. We're going to start here. We're going to send eight through here. This is the way I like to do it. I'm going to send 11 through here. And for now, I'm just going to erase all of this so we can kind of focus on the green. Okay, we've got eight, we've got 11. I'm now sitting here, I have eight liters and 11 liters. I'm gonna look ahead at what I can separate out. I am going to send the full, um, there's really not much we can do here. I'm going to send seven liters through to here and I'm gonna send one liter through here. I have 11 liters here. I'm going to send five liters through here, two liters through here, and that leaves me with four liters that I have to send down here. So I can then send five liters down to here, but ultimately only four liters is getting through to here. I now have four liters sitting here. I'm going to send the full four liters, honestly, just straight to the sink. I have five liters and two liters here. I'm going to send three liters down here and two liters down here. So I can send one liter through to the end and I can send, um, we've got, uh, what have I done? Two and three. So we can then send five liters through to the end here. One plus four plus five, our maximum flow is 10. So our minimum cut, therefore, must be 10 somewhere. Let's have a go at actually finding our minimum cut. How are we going to do this? We're going to try cuts until they equal 10. We could do 2 plus 12 plus 7. That's already higher than 10. We could do um, 5 plus 2 plus 10. That's a lot higher than 10. We could do 11, 6, and 4. Remember, the 5 won't count. But we kind of have to think about it a little bit differently because we're aiming for small numbers. So I'm going to look for all the small numbers I can. One, three, two, and four. Let's see. Passenger side, passenger side. Now the road's curved. Passenger side, passenger side. So therefore our cut would go through there. Let me erase the stuff around it so you can see what I'm talking about. Oh, I'll draw it back on for you. No, that's not right. Hang on. Let 
that would be our cut. So that is correct though. Our capacity was 23 and our maximum flow was 10 and we've confirmed that with the cut. Okay, so we now have our um, second practice question. This is our last one for today. Um, another maximum flow and minimum cut question. So calculate the maximum flow um, for this network. We're going to start off the source. We're going to send 14 through here, um, 8 through here, and 8 through here. Now, what can we do after here? I'm going to send the full 8 right up here. No, no point in worrying about what we're going to do with that. I'm now going to saturate my edges. So I'm going to send 5 through here, and then I must have um, 9 left over. So I'm going to send 9 down to here. I now have 9 plus 8, which is 17. I can only send 16 through 16. So 5 plus 8 plus 16. 5 plus 8 plus 16 is equal to 29. So the maximum flow. And we now want to find a cut that confirms that. 5 plus 16 plus 10 is 31. It doesn't need to be that high. 14 plus 16 is 30. It doesn't need to be that high either. Um, we've got five, and that goes through the correct side. Five, seven, eight, and eight. Five plus seven plus eight plus eight. That's 28. So maybe that's not correct. Hold on. Unless, oh, no. Yeah, no, that, I am wrong. My maximum flow is wrong. Um, what did I not send through? Hold on. Let's have a look. 5 plus 9 is 14. 5, 8. Unless the answer is incorrect. Let's work off of... Hmm. Now I'm second... I'm, I'm very, I often second guess my own answers. Um, let's have a look at this answer. Let's see if we can pick apart what might be incorrect here because I don't see why we'd be marking that we would be starting at five being left over. So let's say um, the only problem is as though it can't be 29 because we have a smaller cut. The smallest cut I can see right now is the one I've drawn on there. There may very well be a smaller one, but that's the problem with these questions is you have to make them match. Um, where it says copy the network above and illustrate the maximum flow capacity is just about um, drawing it into a network. It's really not a question you guys need to worry about.